we had, you talked a little about your process for learning, and I feel like I can't not ask you to share a little bit of that here. So if we could maybe just roll back the tapes on whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Web3, whether it's DeFi stuff, you're interested in this. What is your process for taking that from zero to one and feeling like you really understand it and you're going down the rabbit hole? Sure. I try to reach into my network and find a connection or an introduction to what I've identified as subject matter experts in the space. And I think you'd be surprised and maybe people aren't fortunate to have a network that I've been fortunate enough to build over the decade of my career. I think you'd be surprised as cold reaching out to somebody. They love to talk about what their passion is and people love to talk about what they love. And I think just being able to sit across from them over a Zoom on a phone call and I just pepper them with questions that I have going on in my head. And maybe it's when I started to develop my thesis on what I believe Bitcoin was going to represent in the world, talking to three or four or five of the people that I thought were experts on the subject, basically spitballing them my thesis and seeing if they thought that was right, which it could be that simple. Or, and I don't care how I'm viewed, if I'm looked at as ignorant or I'm looked at as silly or stupid. It doesn't bother me. I'm going into that conversation completely selfishly to try and learn everything I can about what I'm interested in. And so coming out of that, I'm sure you leave with so many questions, so many sites to visit, so many things to go and pull up. Do you then also have some process where you're like focused on finding height? Because I feel like there's two phases. There's like you're kicking it off and you're really trying to understand it. And then there's the now I need to keep my pulse on this thing. What is your approach to that? Yeah, I think keeping my pulse, I care less about because once I fundamentally believe I understand something, I can kind of let it go and move on to something else. So I'm not in daily Bitcoin stuff as I used to be because I spent months going down that rabbit hole and, and learning everything I needed to learn. And that frees you up for the next thing. Yeah. And then it's compounding knowledge because then maybe I'll understand other stuff in the Web3 space much better than I went down the Ethereum rabbit hole and started it, right? It's just compounding. 